What's going on guys? Queezy back with another video. Today, we're gonna be building Taz, the rescued water Mars, new enclosure. We're building her a nice six foot enclosure. It is a she, confirmed female. Um, we're gonna be building her a new enclosure, so stay tuned. I'm gonna walk you guys step through step, and this enclosure is gonna be collapsible. It's gonna be able to be easily taken apart, put together in just a few short minutes. Once it's actually built, it's gonna take probably a few days to build. But once it's built, it'll be able to be put together and taken down super quick. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> This enclosure is gonna be made almost completely out of scrap material, so it has a bunch of like, you know, imperfections in it, but that's okay. That's okay, it's gonna serve the purpose, and we're still gonna make it look nice. So first things, we're starting with some, a lot, this is about, about 11 feet of scrap plywood. This is all gonna be the back of the enclosure. Well, not all of it. The enclosure is gonna be six feet long, so what we're gonna do is with the amount of material we have here, we're gonna split it into a bunch of 18 by 32 rectangles. The enclosure is gonna be 32 inches tall. And then those four panels will all combine together and make a six foot by 32 inch back panel for the enclosure. So I'm gonna get this all marked up and cut right now. All right, got the circular saw right here. I'm using this little pot right here to hold it like stable but um i marked it up i have it all you know measured out squared out to make sure all the corners are right angles so uh all right let's get to it <laughs> First piece is cut. Now we just gotta do like 20 million more. So I'll get back to you guys when uh, all the pieces are cut. All right, so here I got the bottom set up and I made a little, you know, a couple little lips for the sides of it as kind of like a substrate tray so that when the substrate's in there and I open the door, it all doesn't fall out. So first things first, we're gonna take our screws and our screw gun. We're gonna screw all those into place, and then we're gonna get to putting the hinges on so that then it could fold. I know it's probably hard to see the vision now just from me explaining it, but you guys will see very soon that this is gonna be a very, very convenient and easy enclosure to take down and put back up, you know, whenever you need. It'll be good for indoor, outdoor, all that. So we're gonna stop talking and let's get to screwing. All right, so the little tray is screwed on. The piano hinges are screwed on. So now, this from the bottom view, by the way, you can see that panel could fold in half and easily be stored away or transported super easily. And then, you know, when you could build the enclosure back up, boom, and then there's your bottom panel. So now I'm gonna get started on putting the hinges on the back. And yeah, I'll get back to you guys when that's all done. So the back panel's all done. We got it going accordion style. So this piece, let me bring it down more. That piece folds back. This one folds in. Then the last one folds back. And then boom. It's an easy stack that you could carry around. As a matter of fact, just for sake of the video. Now look. You're gonna transport, you fold that back. Toss the back panel in there. And then boom, that could easily fit in the back seat of a car. 
in the trunk of a little sedan. I drive a Honda Civic, so. So now one of the sides is on. You guys can start to get, you know, the general idea of this enclosure. It's gonna be a door right there, door right there. And then here we go. It is six feet by about 32 by 24. So a little water area right there. Basking platform up there. I'm gonna use every bit of surface area. Shout out to Will Exotic. Check out his channel if you haven't. Uh, he actually gave me inspiration uh, for this enclosure from his new Argus Modern enclosure. Having a bunch of ledges and using as much of the height and surface area as possible so that you know your monitor could run around basically have double or even triple the surface area they would if you just kept it one level so uh, thanks for that one will so all the walls are up now we just gotta do the doors and the top and also before that i'm gonna show you guys how to do the bracing around it so once it's assembled you can kind of just uh, bolt those braces into place and it'll all keep it super stable. So that's actually what we're gonna do in the next video starting off. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this uh, monitor enclosure build and setup series. Probably gonna be like a five part series. Not really sure, but I really need to get this done in the next week cause then I'm moving back to Florida. So see you guys in the next one like subscribe all that we just hit 400 subscribers so uh yeah road to 500 and then road to 1k so see you guys later